Hi everyone, welcome to your weekly guidance message for the week of the 13th of March to the 20th of March 2023 with me, Rachel Skulltalk, Angel Medium. So today I'm using the Archangel Oracle Cards by um, Diana Cooper and the beautiful Archangel Power Tarot by Radley Valentine. And the angels are telling me this week that we're going through another reset. This is an energetic, it's a shift that we're going through because we're going through this ascension, which means our vibration is being collectively lifted. That means we have to make adjustments in our life. So we notice what adjustments we need to make because we go through struggle, we go through challenges, we go through pain that helps us to recognize when we're on the wrong path. So it's very much this week, a week of recognizing what you need to change and making those adjustments in alignment with your soul, your highest good, and with the help of the beautiful angels that are with you. Now, everyone has guardian angels with them at all times, but you've also got archangels that you can choose to work with. And the angel of the month for March is Archangel Michael. Now, Archangel Michael is the one that was telling me this morning that this is a month, uh, not just a month, but this week particularly is all about reset. So really noticing and making sure that your thoughts are in alignment with what it is that you really want and with positivity, with your highest good, with love. We're making, the ascension is all about making a shift away from fear and negativity and into the vibration, the higher frequency of love, which is of course where the angels are living. So you might notice this week lots of incidents of the angel number 111 or double one or quadruple one, however it shows up for you. That's an energetic gateway. When you see the numbers 1111 or 1111, it's like an energetic gateway letting you know a message direct from the angels saying it's time for you to uplift and shift your thoughts to a higher vibration because an energetic gateway is opening and you're actually manifesting really powerfully right now. So you don't want to be manifesting whatever you're complaining about. You don't want to make more of that. You want to manifest something that you like, something that you love. So pay attention to seeing that awakening code 111. That's what it means. Keep an eye, change your thoughts change your thoughts. All right, let's get into the reading. So I always invoke Archangel Michael before I start this weekly reading for you. And with him being the angel of the month this, this week, this year, <laughs> this month, oh my goodness. All right, the first card that came out is the number two, and this is the High Priestess. And oh my gosh, it's Archangel Haniel. Now Archangel Haniel is the angel of the moon. And she reminds us that the moon has a very strong influence on our emotions and on our whole being, right? We're energetic, emotional beings. We can't pretend not to be emotional because we are emotional. Some people are more leaning towards being emotional than others, but we all are always thinking and we're always feeling. So we have to pay attention to the emotions that come up. Now, if due to this shift, you might be feeling a bit more out of sync, out of alignment, ungrounded, unsure of your path, maybe self-doubt, whatever the emotions that are coming up for you, they have a strong message for you. So as this is the first card out, this is the, the Archangel Haniel telling you, you need to pay attention to your thoughts and bring your life, guide your life into the direction of peace. So it may involve having to stop, do some meditation, do some contemplation, take your journal to a beautiful place in nature, go and sit somewhere and allow your emotions to reveal the message. You know, sometimes when we're feeling stressed or sad or emotional, it's because there's a deeper reason for it. And you have to ask yourself, what's going on? What are these emotions telling me? What do I need to adjust, reset, shift in order to bring myself back to center, to bring myself back to peace. And you can call on Archangel Haniel, whose energy is this beautiful silvery blue color, the color of the moon, and Archangel Michael, great team to work together to help you to adjust, to clear away the heavy energies that are causing the pain and the struggle 
and help you to gain the wisdom from those emotions and then bring you back to peace. So that's a beautiful message. So expect psychic insights, angel messages and signs this week because as I always say, your emotions are part of who you are. The angels ride in on the waves of emotion. So the more open you can be with yourself and with your angels about what you're really feeling, the quicker you'll be to move through those emotions and understand the wisdom of them and be able to just be free of any heaviness. So the more you reveal, write down your thoughts, write down your feelings, speak to your angels, tell them what you're thinking, that allows them to intervene, they can come closer to you and, and help you. So let them ride in on that emotion, don't be afraid to reveal it. The second card is your guidance card and oh my goodness, this is a special one. This is Archangel Ariel and Ariel helps us with abundance also helps us with clairvoyance. Now, the three angels that help us with our clairvoyance are Archangel Ariel, Archangel Haniel, and Archangel Raphael. And we've already had two of those angels step in for this week's reading. So remembering that you're in the middle of a reset. This is, okay, what's guiding me away from what I really want? You know, sometimes we take a path towards what we think we want, and the path just makes isn't worth it right it costs us our peace we have to find a different path and our angels are really good at helping us with that so this is another reminder to shift your thinking to shift your energy if your energy if you thought of yourself as a car your mind is the steering wheel and your thoughts are guiding the steering wheel right so when we think negative thoughts and we've all done this have you have you done this where you've thought negatively you feel bad about something and you just can't shake it and you feel grumpy or you feel down and it just spirals you stub your toe you feel worse you snap at someone you feel even worse and before you know it your little car's been driven into a ditch right it's gone off track and it's gone into a hole and the angels are saying you can use your mind to steer you back onto that beautiful golden road so imagine that the angels are like the AAA or the um, NRMA. They've come to rescue your car and bring you back onto the road. And now you have to steer it in, in the right direction and not go into a ditch anymore. <laughs> That's what 111 means. Steer your thoughts in a positive direction. So here, this card, Ariel, is letting you know there's loads to be grateful for, even if there's really hard stuff going on. You'll still be grateful for so much in your life. So use gratitude to bring your thoughts back to positivity. Also, gratitude is the manifestation, it's kind of like pressing the button that generates more abundance for you. So there's lots to be grateful for and there is more abundance coming to you at the moment than you can even imagine. I'm just gonna adjust the light there. So rewards, abundance, good things are coming to you this week. You've got to align your mind with them. Now, this is the 10 of Ariel, 1 and 0 together. If you see 1, 1, 0 or 1, 0, 1, that's a message that not only do you need to adjust your thoughts, but God, the divine, is stepping in and saying, hey, you're going off track. Start thinking positively. And you can use prayer as well. Prayer, gratitude, affirmations, positive thinking to bring yourself back on track. Because there's only, there's only you in, in guiding your own car metaphorically. All right, so the outcome card here is the beautiful page of Michael. Is it any surprise that along with Archangel Haniel and Ariel, Archangel Michael steps in? Now this is saying, look, it shows a young man and he's flying a kite. There's wisdom coming in for you. Now the wisdom can't get in if your mind is cluttered with stress, with, with low thinking, with other people's stuff. So Allow the wisdom to come in, take a breather, go outside. You know, you can't be constantly working on the problem. You can't constantly be working. You do need a break every now and then. So this is letting you know that even though the energy feels a bit bumpy, it's actually a good sign because whenever we start something new, there's always gonna be bumps. Remember when you first learned to ride a bike without the stabilizers? When you first learned to walk, you stumbled a few times, okay? That's just what this bumpy energy is. You're having a course adjustment. There's new stuff coming in. 
it feels bumpy at first, but it doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. Know that you have exactly what it takes to succeed. Pay attention to the small print. Pay attention to your intuition. Remember those psychic messages and angel messages are coming in this week. And your everything is, is, is going to work out for you. You're going in the right direction. Now, that wave of emotion that's coming in, that's helping you too, right? Sometimes we've got to catch the wave and let it take us in the direction that we want it to. And we have to guide ourselves in that direction. So with this new energy that's coming in, it might take a little bit of adjustment, but you're going to be fine. Think of it as being, you know, seeing what needs to change, just seeing what it is that needs to change. Now, the extra card that came out is Archangel Raphael, and this is the healing angel. Now, Raphael popped into my meditation this morning when I was asking the angels, what is this week about? What is it that you want me to share with everyone today? And the first message that came out was that this is a reset. We're doing another big reset and you can feel off track. The second was about the 111 code, the code of awakening and shedding your ego, those negative thoughts that come from your ego and trusting and stepping into your higher self. And the other thing that popped in into my meditation was a quick glimpse of Archangel Raphael. And it's like he stuck his head in and went, hello, <laughs> and then popped out again. So... Raphael, he's the angel of clairvoyance. We've already had Haniel and Ariel. So this is about when we clear our negative thoughts, we get more into our higher enlightened self, right? You don't have to go to a cave and live there for 20 years to be enlightened. You just need to start to see with the eyes of love instead of the eyes of fear. You need to get out of your ego and, and remember the truth of who you really are. The truth of who you are is you're a soul having a physical experience and you're forever connected to the divine. You're being guided at all times by the divine, by your angels. And there is nothing bad waiting to trap you or trip you up. It's just about whether your ego is in charge or your higher self. You have a life purpose and that's part of why you're here is to remember who you really are and your angels are there to remind you of that constantly and to bring you back you know and all of the thoughts that you have about who you're not i'm not good enough i'm too this i'm too that these people don't like me this isn't working all the expectations and the opinions of others the the people pleasing the the trying to to get people to think a certain way about you all of that is is ego driven and the shift, the ascension, the reset that we're going through is about adjusting our course away from fear and ego and into love and being guided and by your higher self. So Raphael on this card says, see with the enlightened eyes, open to the abundance, another mention of, of abundance coming. So it's time to stop believing all your negative thoughts. It's time to stop being anyone except who you really are shine your light in your unique way you don't have to be like anyone else you don't have to look a certain way you just have to be completely authentic and that aligns you with that truth and that higher source energy so abundance is coming it just means you've got to adjust the way you're seeing yourself and the world and so it is thank you angels so we thank the archangels michael raphael Ar Ariel and Haniel for being with us this week. We ask that you stand in the four corners of our energy and walk with us through the week, clearing away any negative toxic energies, cutting any cords and helping each person to walk the path of their highest good and their higher self. Thank you for keeping us grounded, protected and shielded from harm. And thank you for always guiding us angels. And so it is. If you would like some help clearing away the cords of negativity, chopping away those lower energies, calling back your energy and power from places and people where you've left it, and becoming a strong vessel for your soul. You know, sometimes when we overgive, our energy leaks, we become like a colander. It just, it, we just, we've got cords everywhere, we're attached to too many people, too many opinions. You give your power away, you put people on pedestals or um, feel victimized by people or persecuted by people 
all that generates chords. And when you clear those chords, your energy comes back to you. You start to seal up your energy in a positive way and you connect to your highest good. And that then brings in your confidence, your power. You feel energized and vital. If you would like that, we're doing, I'm doing a workshop this week with Archangel Michael called Reclaim Your Power and Energy. And I'm going to help you cut and sever those cords of negativity and pain that drain your energy and, and keep you in that negative state and help you to call back your power and reconnect to source. So if you'd like to do that, this is this Friday. It's Thursday in the US and tickets are only 57 Australian dollars. So you can go over to the link that you see um, in the comments or in the header and book that um, session with me. It's 90 minutes group session on Zoom. I'll see you then. Have a beautiful week. Angel blessings.